you guys. I hope you're having a good day so far. So I'm going to read through the first um, set of slides just like I normally do for our vocab words. So please make sure you're pausing the video after each word so you can then go write your sentence. All right, so we're on 8.13. On our list, we have adhere, atrocity, cope, deter, empower, fluent, lag, mangle, prowl, sulky, surge, and trait. All right, adhere. Adhere means to stick to something or stay attached. Cling, hold fast. Things will work out better if we adhere to our original plan. Or you could say something like, the cat hair adhered to my new jacket and I needed to lint roll it. Or the gum adhered to my hair and I had to get it cut out. Number two, an atrocity. Atrocity is an extremely wicked, brutal, or cruel act. It's something that's very, very bad. Um, so you would describe something that's really disturbing or evil an action that's like an evil action with this word so the nazis took great pains to keep detailed records of each atrocity they committed cope as a verb when you cope with something you're dealing with it and it's difficult um you're you're getting through it you're coping my mom had to cope with the loss of our dog penny or i had to cope with um, living in two houses after my parents got divorced. Deter, when you are deterred or if you deter someone else, you discourage, scare them off or prevent them from doing it because they're afraid. It's like, for example, that picture of Mickey Mouse might deter kids from wanting, from liking him <laughs> because they're gonna be scared. Um, traffic jams won't deter us from coming to your birthday party. Or you could say something like, the snowstorm didn't deter me from going to the mall. Empower. When somebody is empowered, they are given power and authority. Um, Mary empowered my ability to draw when she signed me up for professional art classes. So you might empower your friends by, you know, giving them a feeling of power with something. Um, like my friend empowered me to sign up for um, the race, even though I was afraid. Um, or, you know, presidents are empowered when they are elected. Fluent. Fluent is all about grace done gracefully, speaking, writing, or even moving. So you know how we do our one minute reads for fluency, okay? That's all about how smoothly and you know gracefully we're able to read out loud. So a lot of things can be fluent. We talk, some people speak more fluent than others, um, which just means they speak or write easily and smoothly. These, this picture of them dancing, they're fluent dancers, which means it's, they're just flowing. There's not really, doesn't really stop a lot. Susanna can speak fluent Japanese, French, and Russian. Lag. When someone lags, they move slowly and fall behind. They bring up the rear. Trail, straggle, delay. Please try not to lag behind the others. Mangle. When something's mangled, it's injured very seriously by cutting, tearing, or crushing, and it's brought to ruin. So think of like disfigure, mutilate, butcher. Workers could mangle their hands in this equipment if they don't pay attention to what they're doing. Or you could say the car was extremely mangled after the accident. Prowl, when someone or something prowls around, because animals definitely do this, they roam about sneakily in search of something. So that panther is prowling around. Um, people can prowl around too. A panther can prowl freely at night because its dark fur prevents it from being seen. Sweat, 
sulky. If someone's sulky, we describe with this word, they're in a bad mood. They're moody. It's a nasty mood. They're angry. Okay, it's not fun to be around somebody who's sulky. A sulky child does not make a very good playmate. Surge. When there's a surge of something, it's like it all of a sudden it increases and floods and rushes um, to have a heavy, violent swelling motion like waves um, or a powerful forward rush. You might say the crowd surged forward after the doors were open to Best Buy. Runners who train hard and who have good stamina often surge ahead of the pack or a sudden surge of electrical current could make a computer crash. Okay, last one, a trait is a quality uh, or characteristic, especially of someone's personality. It's a feature of something. Um, so we always in ELA talk about character traits. Are they brave? Are they mean? Are they unhappy? Um, but there can be traits of other things too, like there are job traits. Um, your most appealing trait is your sense of humor. All right. You're gonna work on the next slides. Please make sure you are taking your time um, and you're using your green sheets. Do your best and I will see you tomorrow.